welcome to Book Club. And before we start, I'm going to pick one of these cards and see what message it has for us. So these are our Four Agreements Toltec Wisdom Cards. You can find these on Amazon if you are interested in buying them. Let's see. Okay, it says, don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you, it's not about you, but it's about them. That's a good little message there. It's really hard not to take things personally, but you can do it with practice. Okay, so back to the four agreements. We are on chapter five, and we are on the fourth agreement, which is always do your best. Let's begin. There's just one more agreement, but it's the one that allows the other three to become deeply ingrained habits. The fourth agreement is about the action of the first three. Always do your best. Under any circumstance, always do your best, no more, no less. But keep in mind that your best is never going to be the same from one moment to the next. Everything is alive and changing all the time. So your best will sometimes be highly quality and other times it will not be as good. When you wake up refreshed and energized in the morning, your best will be better than when you are tired at night. Your best will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick or sober as opposed to drunk. Your best will depend on whether you are feeling wonderful and happy or upset, angry or jealous. In your everyday moods, your best can change from one moment to another, from one hour to the next, from one day to another. Your best will also change over time. As you build the habit of the four new agreements, your best will become better than it used to be. Regardless of the quality, keep doing your best. No more, no less than your best. If you try too hard to do more than your best, you will spend more energy than is needed and in the end, your best will not be enough. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. But if you do less than your best, you subject yourself to frustration, self-judgment, guilt, and regrets. Just do your best in any circumstance in your life. It doesn't matter if you are sick or tired, if you always do your best, there is no way you can judge yourself. And if you don't judge yourself, there is no way you're going to suffer from guilt, blame, and self-punishment. By always doing your best, you will break a big spell that you have been under. There was a man who wanted to transcend his suffering so he went to a Buddhist temple to find a master to help him. He went to the master and asked, Master, if I meditate four hours a day, how long will it take me to transcend? The master looked at him and said, If you meditate four hours a day, perhaps you will transcend in ten years. Thinking he could do better, the man then said, Oh, master, what if I meditated eight hours a day? How long will it take me to transcend? The master looked at him and said, If you meditate eight hours a day, perhaps you will transcend in 20 years. But why will it take me longer if I meditate more? The man asked. The master replied, You are not here to sacrifice your joy or your life. You are here to live, to be happy, and to love. If you can do your best in two hours of meditation, but you spend eight hours instead, you will only grow tired, miss the point, and you won't enjoy your life. Do your best. 
and perhaps you will learn that no matter how long you meditate, you can live, love, and be happy. Doing your best, you are doing, you are going to live your life intensely. You are going to be productive, you are going to be good to yourself. Because you will be giving yourself to your family, to your community, to everything. But it is the action that is going to make you feel intensely happy. When you always do your best, you take action. Doing your best is taking the action because you love it. Not because you're expecting a reward. Most people do exactly the opposite. They only take action when they expect a reward and they don't enjoy the action. And that's the reason why they don't do their best. For example, most people go to work every day just thinking of payday and the money they will get from the work they are doing. They can hardly wait for Friday or Saturday, whatever day they receive their money and can take time off. They are working for the reward and as a result, they resist work. They try to avoid the action and it becomes more difficult and they don't do their best. They work so hard all week suffering the work, suffering the action, not because they like to, but because they feel they have to. They have to work because they have to pay the rent, because they have to support their family. They have all the frustrations and when they do receive their money, they are unhappy. They have two days to rest to do, to do what they want to do and what do they do? They try to escape. They get drunk because they don't like themselves. They don't like their life. There are many ways that we hurt ourselves when we don't like who we are. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna stop here. So just remember, always do your best. So we are in the fifth chapter and we are on page 80. So we will continue next Monday. All right, everybody, have a blessed day. And I will see you Monday, next Monday. Bye-bye.